Shit, guys, it is like 2 p.m., 3 p.m. Um, got to sleep really late last night. It was like, I started seeing sunlight, so I don't know what time it was. It must have been past 6 a.m. I blame it on the energy drink, because last night I was like, okay, game one didn't go that well, but it can't be a 3 0, right? Started chugging a monster, and um, now I'm like, mm, I'm screwing up my sleep schedule, so uh, we'll see what. Man, it fucks up my streaming thing, too, because Game of Thrones. Once Game of Thrones is done, I'll have a much more stable schedule. Like, 6 o'clock is actually a really awkward time for me because it's like kind of smack dab in the middle of where I would like to be streaming. And and then when you're streaming, too, like, you don't want to have, like, one-hour, two-hour streams. They're, they're not very good for you. It's almost like, oh, I'll just wait for a better day. Uh... So, I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, have to, I have to figure something out because even if I start a stream right now, which is not going to happen because uh, I need to take a shower and I need to eat and stuff, um, it would be like a three, three and a half hour stream at maximum. So and now it's like, uh, I feel bad. I feel, I feel so bad every time I do something with my stream or cancel my stream or whatever. Um, maybe I'll stream after Game of Thrones. Maybe that's the plan because then it'll be like seven, eight-ish when people start leaving. So... Yeah, maybe that's the plan. <sighs> Anyways, time to get the day started. First things first, I have to look over a cut for a new offline TV video that's coming out. Usually what that entails is looking over the, the initial cut, making a bunch of notes, going back and forth with the editor, what you think of the creative direction, and what like small, minute changes that we can make. Uh, oftentimes, Mark handles a lot of this because uh, he's kind of our... Uh, main creative guy, but he, I think he said he's doing something with logo or something. I don't know. So I'm taking over for for this uh, this particular cut. Aria just reached out to me too, and she was like, "Hey, do you want to learn and dance tomorrow?" So I might be doing that tomorrow as well. So um, just making plans, getting stuff figured out, uh, using my time where I can. If I'm not going to stream, I might as well be productive. Game of Thrones. Time to be. What do you think, Mark? More disappointed than yesterday night or less disappointed? I guess we already know what happens because we spoil right. ourselves. So you're saying like if you accumulate all of season eight disappointment into this finale, then way more disappointed with this. Because at least Team Loco making finals was cool. Did That's true. All of MSI plus the finale. Yeah. You know, it, actually, in the moment, I was really disappointed about last night, but in the end, I was kind of like, oh, you know what? We beat IG. Yeah, like, <laughs> That's more than I could say of any time ever. It definitely fucking blows that it was the fastest international best of five ever and like, all that shit, but like, good tournament all around, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. Didn't stick the landing, but whatever. Gave up on Game of Thrones or watching <laughs> Drowns <laughs> <laughs> once. It's way funnier. Way more entertainment. Now I have to go fucking grab Chesney. I don't know if it's funnier than Game of Thrones. Uh, that's true. Depen funny. It depends on what sort of hu humor taste you have. Yeah. Crippling disappointment. God damn it. <laughs> I literally was like, wow, this is nice. I see you so often. <laughs> I, I, know, just, I feel like I have to document how fucking often I see you. Go away. No. <laughs> The other elevator is actually like busted, so that's why I was like making a big deal out of getting in this one. Wait, what do you mean? It's like broken? Yeah, well, let's see if it's still up here. What do you mean still up here? So like the door got bent or something, what? and so then it like doesn't really close, but I, I like managed to shut the door and then get in the other one. Jesus. Mm, this show sucks, sucks balls, mud your balls. I'm hoping balls show fucking sucks balls, fucking balls. I know, guys. I'm in season one right now. I think it has a lot of potential. This <laughs> opening's good though. Ran the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god. What? Just got done watching Game of Thrones and now everybody's just busy on their phones looking at Game of Thrones memes because that shit was awful. It was so bad. <laughs> I, I... Uh... So bad. Inside the episode, I can't wait to see them sniff their own farts and be like, <laughs> Bran was clearly the correct choice because... Because he didn't want it. He more. didn't want it! 
My queen, I don't want it! So fucking dumb. I hate this show. Oh wait a second, I got some stuff in the mail. These are probably my probably my lenses that I ordered. Also, as I was getting my stuff, I found out I have like this giant bruise on my hold on. Look at that. What happened? Oh, it hurts like hell though. I have a giant fucking bruise there. Yeah, see that? See that right there? Like what happened? I just like splat my foot. Oh, it hurts. Alright, so this is what I got. It's the 24mm uh 2.8 lens. F2.8, and uh, it's also called the pancake because, as you can see, it is very, very tiny. So I'm going to attach this to my camera and see how it feels. I am trying my stream setup with the new lens, and it looks pretty good. And it's a lot less claustrophobic, and I can use this mini tripod instead of my big one, so I think it's a win-win, right? It looks pretty good. Yeah, I like it. Just got done streaming. Um, basically spent this time just ranting about Game of Thrones and what I had problems with. I don't know, it's it's just, uh, it's crazy to think that it's like over over. Um, I think my only hope for redemption for this show is that George R. R. Martin Barton comes out, George R. R. Martin comes out and says, hey, I'm finishing the book soon, so uh, it'll be out in like a month or something and then they'll make Game of Thrones Brotherhood. That's like the only redemption for the TV show in my opinion. It's just, it feels like, look, here's the thing. I don't necessarily blame the writers too much because they decided they wanted to get it done with and, uh, you know, I, I, I don't even know, you know, like, I, I don't know what happens in the back, back end of these shows. I don't know who's making all the decisions. Is it really the writers being like, oh, we don't care about the money and we just want it to be done? Um, I don't know. Uh, right like and whatever it is they decided that they wanted to finish the show a really short amount of time and they did what they could and uh i was thinking about it more and i thought about the plot points and i felt like the places where they ended up are places that could feel good if there was enough time but you know they shortchanged themselves with only six episodes this season how many episodes was last season it wasn't that, that many either so they tried to wrap things up in such a short amount of time and of course you're just gonna fail it reminds me of like i don't know like anytime you make a, a movie from a book there's always a, like a lot of stuff that you have to cut out and then the the movie inevitably doesn't feel as good as the as the books do and i feel like something um, kind of similar is happening here. That said, I feel like it was just a big miss and uh, really, really disappointing. And it sucks because now people remember Game of Thrones as like a big disappointment. It reminds me of Darling and the Franks a lot. Like more and more the sort of tie-ins on how uh, fan sentiment and how the show was received. Like a lot of that stuff really feels similar to Darling and the Franks where it's like, oh, it's so good, it's so good. Oh God, what happened? Turn back. <laughs> but so, ah, it, it, is, it is what it is. My packages. But yeah, today I kind of was not very productive. I need to go grocery shopping soon again is one thing I figured out. I'm out of sandwich materials, so I need to go do a grocery shopping run at some point. And then I'm hanging out with Aria Saki. Uh, I believe we're working on a K-pop dance thing tomorrow and then just hanging out. So uh, that should be exciting. And then hopefully streaming tomorrow. So that's kind of what I've got on the docket. This, again, might be kind of a shorter vlog. Uh, I apologize if that is the case. But yeah, anyways, uh, thanks y'all for watching. Uh, tomorrow should be pretty exciting, so uh, I'll catch you guys then. Have a good night, guys. Or day. <laughs>